Hi everyone, this is Harrison with Wrist Swap. This is about a year in the making, this video right here. As soon as the Moon Swatch came out, I had this idea. I thought, well, what if we took the Moon Swatch and put it through all the same NASA trials the original Moon Watch went through? Now, the problem there that I've had for the last year has been the issue of what the heck kind of testing are you gonna put it through? How do you get all the laboratory equipment? Blah, blah, blah. So this is a slightly modified version of the NASA test. For example, they test it up to 70 degrees Celsius for 48 hours. This can only go up to 60 degrees Celsius. If I wanna go 70, I think I have to spend like $5,000. I don't have $5,000 laying around. So we're gonna do a slightly modified version, but a few of the tests are gonna be obviously accurate, the vacuum test, the heat in the vacuum test, the low pressure test. I have a humidity reader right here to try and make sure we check that. We also have a low temperature reader to make sure we know what that looks like. We're gonna go through each test individually. Each of these is gonna be its own video. This is video test one. So this is the temperature test. It's gonna be high temperature, 48 hours at 60 degrees Celsius. I'll document it throughout the 48 hours and cut that in as we go. As well as then at the end, we have a 93 degrees Celsius at 30 minutes in a partial vacuum. And that's gonna be heat pad in a vacuum chamber, which I also have. Now the high temperature test failed a lot of the original NASA watches. So we'll start there. This is obviously a plastic watch or has a lot of plastic components. So it'll be interesting to see how long it lasts. Then after that, we'll move into the low temperature test. That's gonna be four hours at negative 18 degrees Celsius. So basically setting the watch in my freezer and we'll see what it looks like after that. If you wanna follow these, please subscribe. You'll be able to watch it. If you wanna support the channel, buying all this stuff was not cheap, uh, so please do that. There's a membership that you can find through the channel. We also have a Patreon. I'll link that in the description below if you wanna help contribute. Otherwise, you can just subscribe, watch the videos. That's super helpful, comment, that sort of thing. So let's wait for this to heat up, and then we're gonna set the watch in there and set our clocks to 48 hours. I'm going off my G-Shock. It does a radio uh, check to make sure that what its time is matching universal time. Uh, so 8-12, Monday 11-6 or November the 6th at 8-12 in the morning. Set this in there. We should be done Wednesday at 8-12. That's gonna be our 48 hours. So we'll put it in there. We'll check in and I'll let you know what time we're at and how it's doing over the course of this test. Oh yeah, that's toasty. All right, so obviously we dropped a bunch. Uh, so it'll gain back up. Um, the watch is running, everything looks good. We're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. I'll check in here when I come back from work. So it should be in about nine hours or so. Uh, and we'll see how she's doing. One debt to society later. All right, it is 8.04, so we're about 12 hours in so far. Uh, the watch, I'm checking the time, how much time it's losing compared to this. It hasn't lost a single second. Uh, so this is um, 12 hours in at 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Day three. Uh, it is now 5.56 on Wednesday the 8th. So I actually went way over 48 hours. Um, I just had to get pulled. I went to work and I wasn't able to take it out. So we're going to take it out now. Damn, it's hot. Wow, that's hot. Watch looks good. No issues on it so far. It's still ticking. Even the sticker's still intact. No issues on the crown. It was only 140 degrees, so it's not like I was subjecting it to a huge amount. All right, so we are eight seconds behind after putting it in, but eight seconds lost over sitting in 140 degrees for the last 50 some hours. I think it's pretty darn good. Uh, the next test is the pressure test. So we're gonna grab the vacuum chamber, we're gonna put it at 200 degrees for 30 minutes and see how it handles that. And then we'll be done with this first set of temperature, high temperature testing. A few moments later. Okay, so uh, we obviously have our vacuum here. We have everything run. Uh, we're, low, we're at a partial vacuum right now, and we're gonna turn up the heating pad on it, um, heating up the chamber itself to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So I did this a little bit ago, and it got hot. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. This is 30 minutes. So I, it being a plastic watch or 
a third plastic, however you want to divide it out. I'm worried about it melting in there, but I don't think we should have any issues other than that. So we'll start there and we'll see what happens. I believe, if I remember correctly, on the actual Moonwatch tests, this is one of the parts that failed a lot of them. They just melted. This in the humidity test. So we'll start here, see what happens. All right, now that I've figured out how this whole thing works, you set it and you can watch it's climbing. Now 200 degrees Fahrenheit is 93 degrees Celsius for those of you that are on the metric system, um, on the better system, as some people call it. Uh, so I've got it heated up here and we'll just see what happens. I'm going to wait around and see what happens here in the first few minutes and then we'll see what happens after that. The issue here is the watch itself is on the bottom, so the, it will be it'll be in contact with the you know 100 degree heat. I can feel the bottom of this chamber heating up. Um, but this is what it says. This is still, this is test one here. High temperature test, 70 degrees Celsius. Now we know we cheated a little bit on that. The 70 degrees Celsius and the 93 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes in a partial vacuum. And it's in the partial vacuum. I've got everything set correctly there. Um, the pressure's actually changed a little bit just because of the heat. There we go. Four seconds. Yeah, it'll regulate itself back down to 93. Nothing's melted yet, so we shall see what happens. I'll be back in 30 minutes. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, we are crossing 30 minutes now. It's 30 minutes in the tank at 200 degrees. This actually fluctuated a lot. Now it's at 96 degrees Celsius, so it definitely varied. Take that off. This heating pad, you can actually see the, the adhesive bubbled because of how hot it got. <laughs> Ooh table's hot. Let's take the pressure off. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, shit. All right, well. So first things first. Watch itself is running. Here's the problem. The watch might be running, but um, the battery compartment, uh, the, the actual thing there uh, came off. So this was basically like, it's screwed on. It's supposed to be screwed on. A uh, little back that, that keeps the battery in place. And then that way you can easily swap it out. You can take the battery out. But obviously that came off. So while the watch is still running, strap seems intact. You know lugs didn't like they they didn't get deformed or melted. This is oil from the motor, the vacuum. It's a Chinese piece of crap and so it just kind of got messed up. But inside here there's the battery compartment. So let's pull that guy out. Ooh, the bottom of this is hot. There it is. Jupiter. <laughs> Case back. And I think that held the battery down. So I'm actually going to, uh, I guess it depends. Do I keep the integrity of the watch the way it is right now and then put it in the freezer because that's the next test or put it back on and then put it in the freezer? I feel like it's got the best chance of if this goes back on. In theory, if you were on the moon, you could always just, you know, put the, the back back on if you had to, then use it. So let's do that. I'll be honest, I'm pretty surprised that this worked. I wonder if the chronograph works. I know it's gonna be a little hot right now, but let's see if the chronograph works. Well, lit. Yep. Are you set? Yep. Pretty impressive. All right, next test is low temperature uh, freezer. Negative 18 degrees Celsius four hours. Let's put it in there and see what happens. Hey everyone, this is Editing Harrison. Uh, so I was working on this video and it just got to be too long for just one test. So originally I was gonna do one video with all of the NASA tests 
and it's just taking too much time. So I'm gonna do one video for each test. Plus it's gonna take me way too long to do each test. One of the tests is 10 days in relative humidity. So give me some time, uh, subscribe if you guys wanna see each of these tests as we go forward. The next test I'm gonna release probably later this week or early next week will be the low temperature test. So putting it in a freezer and then I'll do each of those tests as I have time to be able to actually perform the tests and buy the equipment to do the tests. And you know, again, time to do it. One of them is also 15 cycles of 45 minutes each at high temperature, then low temperature in a vacuum. So it's gonna take a long time. But point being that obviously I hope this was interesting to you guys. As I said, if you're interested in seeing the rest of the videos that are coming up, please subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys at the low temperature test I'll probably release later this week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next one. Take care.